Hey guys, welcome to my channel Document School. I hope you all are great. If you're new here, consider subscribing and push the bell icon so that you don't miss out on the new videos. Today we're going to discuss about the difference between atrial flutter and atrial fibrillation. So let's just jump right into it. Atrial flutter and atrial fibrillation are both abnormal heart rhythms. They occur when there is an issue with the electrical signals and pathways in your heart, which usually help it beat in an organized and effective way. Now, normally the top chambers of the atria contract and push blood into the bottom chambers ventricles. In atrial flutter, the beats are regular but faster, whereas in atrial fibrillation, the beats are irregular. What do you mean by regular and, in and irregular in these terms? In atrial fibrillation, the beat don't uh, the left and right uh, atria don't synchronize perfectly, and the beats uh, tend to be irregular. The, that means either the right or left atria beat first, uh, or like first than the, the other atria. And in atrial flutter, the beats are regular, but they are faster, faster than the ventricle. That means uh, there might be four beats of atria for one ventricular beat. That's the difference between uh, the, that's the definition difference between atrial flutter and atrial fibrillation, and uh, atrial flutter and atrial fibrillation both have basically the similar symptoms. The symptoms are feeling faint, tiredness, palpitation, shortness of breath, or dizziness. Now these symptoms are same in both atrial flutter and atrial fibrillation. Some people have mild symptoms and others tend to have none at all, and uh, the third is. Atrial flutter is less common and atrial fibrillation is more common. Now, that doesn't mean that atrial fibrillation being more common is not so harmful. Both are severely harmful and uh, you know, like they are like death. Uh, you know, they can lead to death of a person if they if the person is suffering from them. Now, the fourth one is the treatment or the how how what are the drugs used to manage these atrial flutter and atrial fibrillation in atrial fibrillation and in atrial flutter both are managed in this if they are diagnosed earlier by drugs they are managed by drugs basically and in atrial flutter the treatment or the you know like catheter ablation is the term used for the treatment and what is catheter ablation catheter ablation is a radio frequency energy used to destroy the area inside the heart that causes abnormal heart rhythm now all this is done under local anesthetics. In both atrial flutter and atrial fibrillation, medication is the first treatment given. But in atrial flutter, catheter ablation is used as a uh, treatment, uh, which is you know like uh, which uh, is a long-term treatment plan as it removes the uh, tissue which causes the abnormal rhythm, and which you know like gives a long-time uh, better situation for the patient. And uh, it is also the catheter ablation is also used in patients who are diagnosed. Uh, in the later in the life of uh, atrial flutter. So that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.